having issues connecting to the Zoom. So I think we're live on Facebook, but it's not connecting to the Zoom. We're already live on Facebook, so I don't know. Oh, I see. Yeah. Give me a second here. So I don't, I don't, I'm not connecting to the Zoom. So I would paint the universe, or take it a circle, and inside that window, I'll put the motor. Yeah, it says it's having, it's not really working on Facebook, is it? Yeah, I don't know what the disconnect is, but. We should, I just want to get started because we're already 10 minutes in. So. Okay, if you just, why don't you just record it and we can, I'll put it up on Facebook later. I mean, we're live on Facebook right now. We're just not connected to Zoom. Um, okay, I couldn't get it to work on Facebook. Yeah. I don't see it on Facebook. So let's say... What's your name? Oh, yeah, I do. Emma Kate? Cool. Emma Kate's going to paint. Okay, I'm going to let see. Delane get started. So in her mind, she's going to start with the lighter color down here. Okay. 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 And work her way up into the dark. This is where the trees are going to come in and fill that. You're supposed to brush this one. Back in the So I could have a man right here. The universe, I can make a vocal headdress. Yeah, so we um, were live on Facebook, and so sorry for the technical difficulties, um, but we're here with Delane Hasno Horse, who is going to be doing a paint workshop, and we're here at Racing Magpie, but we wanted to share with you all online, and so I'm going to let Delane introduce himself, and then we'll get started with the workshop. So you could just talk to them. Okay. Yeah. Hey, good afternoon. My name is Delane Hasnohorse. I'm a lecture. I'm a particular now. I'm a hikte. I'm a lecture. 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 i am Daya Hilo, na Peter, na Mini. Na lecha he ti, na lecha he wana washtiktil. I wanna lecha he. I was gonna. It's gonna take me a while for my introductions because I'm gonna do it in Lakota, English, Spanish, Mexican. I had to chicken ax them. I just wanted to let everybody know that we're here today at the Racing Magpie and we're going to do some. A little technique that I learned when I very first started painting. A lot of people probably know this technique, but it's something that I learned, and I'm going to share it today with the people and let these young kids that are here learn things. And I've got a famous artist, John Goes in the center, watching me, so I get nervous. At the, <laughs> so, but he's come here to show support, and we're, we're here. So we're going to um, do some painting for the universe, but we'll be going around, I'll be passing out canvases, and hopefully the kids will like it, so we'll get ready. Okay, yeah. Minnie, I'm wicked. Yeah. All right. You wanna pass these around? Yeah. Give me it one of those. It doesn't matter what size, just take one out. Take one out and keep the plastic. Keep your plastic, guys. You guys wanna go, come in? I'll, I'll take them Yeah. Keep the plastic. If you don't have a plastic, get a piece of plastic from somebody.
You guys have your um, plastic? Oh, you need it? Yep, you need your cable plastic. Cut them, cut it in two if you want to. Or three pieces if you want to. Oh, you need like a napkin kind of? Yeah. Yeah. Is that what you need? Yeah. Just take your plastic and just cut it. Oh, fine. Cut it in two pieces. Or one, or what to do. And don't use too much um, paint with your color, okay? Get this water right here. And put a little bit of water on your canvas. Get a little bit of water. Just like that. Real good. Thing. Go on up. So that's my rocks. Yep. Yeah. Go like this. Then we're going to go into some colors that you're going to want to use in the middle. See this? Any color. You can pick a color. John, any color you want. We're going to do a universe. We're going to do a little bit of this paint. Just go like this. This is on there. Go like this. You like red? Yeah. Oh, is there just one fish? Is black? Yeah, it's just black right here. We're going to get it. Just use black glass. Use black glass. Yeah, it's black over there. So like this. Look at You drop the next one. Next color. Can we just get it? Yeah. We don't have any paper. Dad. 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 Now you have black, very flat. Oh, I'm feeling like one of them. There's only one black one. Put it on the edges. You see the edges? Okay. You guys ready? You can put another color on it. You put it on the floor. See? Put it on the floor. Oh. Okay, you ready? That's good. Watch it. Let, let them catch up a little bit. Put a couple colors on your canvas. Okay. Oh, sure. Um, oh, okay. Put some dabs of some water in there. Just like a. Yeah, my favorite. Look at this. Yeah, it's green. Do you like it? Yeah. It's like green. It's green. It's green. Really? It's really dabs. Oh, you need some dabs. Okay, now, uh, do you see my uh, canvas? See, it's going to run. That's where you don't want it. So, <coughs> I'll use this one. So, if it runs, just get another canvas, put it on. Okay, now watch. All you're going to do, <coughs> you got black in the corners, you're just going to dab it. <laughs> You'll learn how to do black, what color overpowers which color. You'll learn. Then you just grab this black right here. And you start making your universe. Yeah, put, the, put the black on so we can keep passing it around, okay? What? Everybody else needs the black too. Yeah, we have a one little. You can't tell me. I'm sorry. Yeah, see? Black Remember, black overpowers. <clears throat> so go like, on I the edges. I need canvas to like put it on. Here, you can use this one. Oh, the there more black in the box? Mm -hmm. No, I think I only have that little black. Same. Now when, you, <clears throat> now when you have it in there, just dab that together, John, first. Wait, with, your plastic. with your plastic. Oops, it got on the table. That's okay. Ready, Rosie? 
Yeah. Yep. And then when you want to put another color in there, you can just put it in there while it's all there. Uh, and it will all mix. <laughs> Wait, where is my this? Where do I? Are there anyone else? So see how I got this? <clears throat> see how I got this yellow? And I came over. Mm -hmm. Dab the blackness? Yeah, not, not yet. Just dab that around some more. Like, so, like this? Yeah, just dab it around. Mix it all together. So look at my I think I'm gonna put if your paint ain't moving. Just a little bit more water. Yeah, I do like orange number. I think I'm gonna do like a light blue. You can pour off the water oh, onto uh that canvas right there between the uh, rose and Yeah. Do you want more colors on there below before we start? Oh there we go. I need more colors. Purple? You need a napkin. Oh, actually, I'm going to get one. Can I get one? Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. 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 Dry. I want some red. So I'm gonna do some red. Do if I want to do some more green. more color, more water in that. Yeah. I'm gonna do that. Then you can dab it. Use that plastic bag. That plastic bag is there. Oh, 
must be home anymore, Joe. Oh, I lost that. I'm going to use this piece. Dad, is this the good? I mean, I think it looks great. Ours is really similar. Can you? I think I need to dab it more. Um, right. What are we going to use? Brush for that? Huh? We're doing nothing right over there. You can probably take that little bit of black up there on the top there, brother. Can you take something to the top and kind of move What's around a little bit? Yeah, move it right across the top. Here, I'll see if I can find something. Here. Okay. Black over there, Kyle? Did you find it all? I think Wade has a black over there left. Tube of colors in there. I'm gonna mix it. Oh, that's then, okay. gonna, then I'm gonna come in with different um, dabbing. Okay. Then I'm gonna come back, roll this back up. So this other side I didn't get to use. Then I'm gonna come in and dab. Okay. Yeah, I try to find the side you didn't use. There, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, John. It's always you the different, yep. Yeah, always you the different. Um, turn your plastic around. Here's some more plastic. Oh, 
Yeah, if you want to take a break and wash your hands. <laughs> no. I just had to wear white today, too. Yeah, I don't know what to do. Oh, you can find it. And when you're done, that dries, that's where you're going to put the mold, okay? That's cool. Yeah, just let it dry, then we'll paint on top of that. Okay. You see how mine is? Just dab yours all together. All around. Mix colors all mixed up. Give it that up. What was your name? Okay. Look. 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 There's a titanium white over there somewhere. Right here. So after you learn this technique, you're going to go home and you're going to try it on other things. And so when you have your painting dry, let it dry. And we'll go to the next step. Dab that together. You have to keep on dabbing it together. If those colors mix, you may need to get it. You should have some black right here. That's one thing we don't have. I know. I wish I would have grabbed it right here. Can you look at that? Use a different color. Yeah. Because you use like red and you go home. Just do like a small line. Yep. Okay, you see? Look, guys, where we're at now. We're going to get this toothbrush. Oh, toothbrush. You can do it afterwards too. Brush. Dab it in white paint. Get a little bit. You go high. Okay. Oh, yeah. 
Brushes are over there. You can start that. Is that yours? Yeah. Okay, so like that looks really cool. You sure you're not an artist? No. <laughs> I think your mask is cool. <laughs>
So you figure out what you're going to paint on your thing. You can use sage. No, oh, it looks good. You can. You can use the. Uh, looks really good. What I usually do is I'll get a cup. Let's say I wanted to do a circle. Yeah. My paint is wet. But I'll grab a circle and I'll put it here. Yeah. Put it there and I'll draw around it with my moon. Let's say I get a, where's the white? Cup. 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 Okay, let's say I wanted to do it the moon. With, mm -hmm. I'll go here. You can show them what I did to yours. <coughs> see that, man? Then he says, Look like figurine. That's cool. Buffalo Road. I can't take no credit for the. Wish it. Can you show the camera? Oh, cool. Yeah, that's cool. I'm going to show that yeah, wherever you want your moon. Just let it drip. Just let it drip. Oh, no. Dropping the camera here. Did you make a moon there? Down there? What do you want to paint on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Buffalo Man, I need a cup. Buffalo Dancer. Uh, I don't know. You want to make a cup for the moon? What do you want to do? I'm going to have to like, paint that with this. Oh, there we go. Hold on. I need a cup, Dad. I'm going to put my own moon there. Yeah. Hmm? You see this one? He's laying down looking up into the yeah. evergreen tree. Looking at the moon. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, he's laying down looking up. Yeah. Oh, this is so good. Look at the green. Oh, that's cool. Just a little white. I use seven dots on mine. How do I make a moon? I don't know how to because make a moon. I already 
there's seven stars mixed to uh, Big Dipper. Oh, cool. I need a cup. <laughs> Some more white. You have to detail it. You detail it. So you're putting coat on top of coat. So now you're gonna detail this. See? White will pull it up. So that's the first thing that I learned. But then again, you can come in with these other colors, like the greens. And let's say you wanted to do a tree, a Sundance tree. You just come ahead and you just dab it up there. Yeah, that's great. Remember, you gotta try it. You gotta try it. You see something? Try it. If you don't like it, you're using abstract. You're using um, acrylic paint, so when it dries, it'll be done. Like you got there, that's, you're a good artist. <laughs> you're one of a kind. <laughs> friend here, my colleague John, he does a lot of jewelry. So one day I'm a, he's going to teach me that too, one day. I'll be able to do jewelry work. He told me, he said, come on over. No, I need it. So one day I'm going to have to I take that up. So now when you're done with that, what would you like to have? Any? You want a woman like that? You see how he's doing that? These, all these colors, guys. All these colors you have to. They have a white over there? Yeah, there you go. They have a white over there? Yeah, what do you want? So see this white, this dark one here? You see this? So we'll go like this. Now you think of a buffalo robe. You think of all those things. Should we have a white? How she looks, how is, that, how is this bone touching her? How is this touching her? You just go down. Lighten those parts up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These ladies, there was the muffler over there, always designed. Ladies, they always have a, our buffalo, they always have a quill working them. When that dries, you can put it down and it dries. That's what happens. Mm -hmm. A really long dragon. Yeah. 
Yeah, there's a speck down there. So I think that tree right here. Mm -hmm. That was the sky and the water. Yeah. It has to be really dark because then you'll see it better. Yeah, I think I know how to do it. Yeah, how do you Okay. What are you thinking about? That's it. That's pretty sure. Find some black somewhere. Gray. I think we're all, we might be all up a little bit. That's <laughs> all we need. Put that dry a little bit and we'll add some more to it. So this is the most simplest thing. Usually, usually when you're painting, you let those dry to get your bottom coat. You want to pop some colors, you put white down. So you could put the moon here. Once you really want to you can put the moon there. Because you can put the moon right here, her, her plume. We're going to detail this right here. After it dries, it's going to detail. We're going to put a drip right here. Get a little more darker, <clears throat> darker brown, and we'll detail the, the fur on the buffalo a little more. Good morning. Dad, what does yours look like? Mm -hmm. So here's the one I made. I'll just mess it up. The tree. Oh, you're going to make this up here lighter? Oh, it touches this. The light. The moon. There's different things. I did good there. 
Put, put a horse there, Doc, while you're driving the horse across the bottom of it. Does anybody have any ground? Yeah. Ground for what? Well, you drew it. <laughs> 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 yeah. Are you sure? No. So. Yeah. So. See, that's what happens to my shirt. See? This is the iron on a painting I did. This is really a three foot by four foot painting. Mm. That I put on iron on to put on my shirt. That's just what this technique I'm learning. So that's what you're gonna get. You're gonna learn how to do. You don't need that. Just work with that paint. Just use your mind. Use your mind and you'll see something on that canvas that somebody don't see. So. Shark. I have very little experience with sharks. <laughs> there you go. Stick them on your sharks. Let me see how I show you. Where do you want your shark at? Fish stick. Where do you want your shark? Fish stick. The lighter one. Uh, yes, I do. Oh, there's yeah. a dark brown there, oh, too. Okay. And then you're going to take some color, and you're going to, like, make it a little bit of that.
Look at these other guys over there. Look at one in the head. Oh, he just take that. And then, I'm going to do another plan. Make I'm going to use the bottom. Little, like, I don't know. Like the bottom? Yeah. It's going to fall upon the table. We put this, this the cord on here. Pretty much gone. There's no more black. What do you need? We need something for oh, yeah, the Oh. Just do a dark with their dark color. You could probably um, maybe mix a couple colors together. Yeah, we can have dark green and brown. Oh, here, I got an idea actually. Here, let me see. I didn't know. Let me see your. Um, just, uh, just after 8 p.m. Here you go. Use this one. <laughs> here, you In the morning? Yeah. Here. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I like your skin. I like the color I see you. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna come back in. It's dry. Here, use this. It's on the tip. It's dry, so I'm gonna come back in. It's on the tip. Okay. Okay. And then it's barely. I like yours. I can't take all the credit from my, my professional helping me. <laughs> it's coming together, though, isn't it? John is the only professional here. <laughs> But, 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 what's that? They're going to be, they're going to be, they're going to be, they're going to be, I'm going to add some white to it. Okay. Would you like a nose ring, please? <laughs> okay, now we're going to take my, you still need that? Oh, yeah. Sorry, no, not anymore. Oh, me sure? Okay, you're done? Do the feather like you did. Mm -hmm. 
Shark. Got a good shark there. Hmm. Or maybe, do you have any closing? We can close up the Facebook Live. But do you have any closing well, advice? The only advice I have is to keep on painting and enjoy life and keep going forward. Don't walk backwards, walk forward. That's all I have to say. And thank you to Peter. Many to the Racing Magpie for letting giving me this opportunity to come here, and to all of you that gave me chances before and let me come to your place and paint. Thank you. Cool. Right. Thank you. Yep. Cool. Well, thank you all that joined us on Zoom and uh, Facebook Live, and we'll be having some more virtual winter camps over the next couple weeks. And we'll have a couple more hybrid, and we'll announce those soon. So thank you all for joining us, and have a good weekend. Recording stopped. Yeah, that would be good.